beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand of Giving Hands Creative and I'm coming to you today, Saturday, December 14th at 10.22 in the morning for Book in a Day 50. Isn't that crazy? 50? 50? Five, zero, five, zero? I don't know. 50. 50 books. That means I only have two books left, which means there's only two weeks left in the year. Wow. This, is an, this has been an amazing journey. I can't even tell you everything, all the little tiny things that have come out of it um, and the big things, but never fear. I will be blogging about it and sharing tons of stuff uh, in 2014 that have come out of this process of making 52 books in a year. Um, so yeah, book 50 today. And I'm thinking altered book. So I have this book. Uh, that I got from like, I don't know, Friends of the Library sale. Yeah, so this book, uh, but I'm not thinking altering the pages that are in here. I'm thinking take out the entire book block and using this cover to make my own art journal. Um, a blank art journal that I will then use uh, in 2014 for something don't know what yet so I'm thinking altered book nice paper mixed media paper watercolor paper Bristol paper gesso and some acrylic paints and sprays and all the stuff that I do with mixed media so that's what I'm thinking I I don't know if it's gonna work out <laughs> but we will see stay tuned um, yeah, I have lots of stuff to tell you, but I, I would be rambling for like the first 40 minutes of this video. So I'm going to save it, uh, until the end and on the blog and the newsletter. So make sure you're signed up in all the wonderful places that you can get signed up, um, to stay up to date with what's happening. I have a lot of stuff coming that I'm going to be sharing with you and giving, um, in the way of helping you, you know, start your creative journey and move forward so I'm excited about that but I'll share all that stuff in the coming weeks and yeah let's make a book book 50 I'll see you on the other side cover off and what I'm and and the book block is out and that was fun that was so much fun to do that oh my gosh I remember taking a class with uh, Kathy Walkup at Mills College and the very first day of school of, of the class she came in she had a, a box cutter similar to this and she just ripped the seam I, I mean she did it in, like it took me several because I was nervous it's like oh my god I'm cutting a book she did it in like one cut, one slice, two slices, and then just took it out. And I was, and, and she like ripped it out with her hand. It was so impressive. Um, but anyway, so that was fun. That was totally fun to do that. Okay, so I, I'm not going to be going around just ripping books up anymore um, all the time. But I will definitely do that again. So here's what I see. Um, I think there are about 13 signatures. So I'm thinking just you know in terms of being able to have a book that still can you know close I'm thinking that I'm going to do because I'm not gonna try and put this back in like this I'm not gonna do a block and then try to fit it in this way my goal is to fit it in just on this side have and then maybe have something over here like a pocket or an envelope similar to the um, dilutions journals that are big right now um, I have a large one of those so I'm thinking something along those lines where this book is just a part of its own thing and this can flip back if I need it to when I'm working in the art journal so that's what I'm thinking we will see if that's where it ends up going but that's 
sort of the direction that I have in my in my mind. So in order to do that, the next two steps would be for me to prep the cover and to get my signatures folded and start sewing. So in terms of prep, I'm going to just sew the cover because of course I want to do my own stuff on the cover. I don't want to keep this. So I'm going to just sew the cover and I'm probably going to do two layers of gesso. And I'm thinking for the inside that I'm just going to put take a piece of my recycled art and fit in here somehow. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be back. So a little more than an hour and I have gessoed my cover once. I'm going to gesso it again. Cut my page up, uh, torn out the pages, cut them, folded them. Um, and so what I'm doing, what I thought about as I was putting these signatures together, this, um, this is 140 pound watercolor paper. It is very thick. So I only am using, I'm using two sheets of it. Um, and so what I want to do is alternate. So I have three signatures of each kind of paper. So I did the same thing with the Bristol. The Bristol paper is fairly thick as well. Um, so I did, where's my other Bristol? Here I am. I did two, two sheets per signature for that. And I did three. And then I did, for the mixed media paper, because it's thinner, it's 90 pounds, I think. 90 or 98. 98 pound. Um, so it's thinner. I did three sheets for this. So I have three mixed media signatures, three Bristol paper signatures, and three... Um, watercolor paper signatures and I wanted that makes nine and I wanted to have ten signatures so I just created one signature that has one piece of each oh no that's the wrong one uh, one piece of each kind of paper that's this one so it has watercolor burst, uh, mixed media and Bristol all in one signature so the next thing I want to do is actually alternate them so I want to start and hopefully end with the watercolor because it's thicker paper. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the end one in a second. So watercolor, mixed media, Bristol, watercolor, mixed media, Bristol, the mixed packet. You know what? I think I'm going to put the mix at the back. So watercolor, mixed media, Bristol, and then the mixed packet or the mixed signature. So that's that's pretty pretty hefty. So let's just, uh, so the cover's only been gesso once. I'm going to gesso it one more time. But let's just see what we are looking like in terms of closing. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. Just because um, as I add to this, each time I do something, it's going to bulk up, so it gives me a little bit of wiggle room, and I like that. Okay, so, next. Before I start sewing, oh, 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 wait, one thing. I'm going to add, so when I, when I put this, 
when I put this book together, like once it's all sewn together, it's just going to sit here on this space. It's not going to be attached to this spine in any way other than, so it's really attached to the cover. So whatever's here will get pasted down. So I'm actually going to put an additional sheet around this so that the pasted piece isn't my watercolor paper. Does that make sense? Let's hope that makes sense. Okay, we'll see. That's my plan. All right, so I will see you back here on the other side. I'm going to just sew my cover one more time so I have a second coat on that. And then I think I'm going to start punching holes for sewing. See you back here in a second. check 214 oh 215 and here's where I am so the, the book is all sewn and I basically did Coptic stitch without the boards attached to it um, so yeah this is Coptic stitch and I think I did that uh, in book I don't remember the number right now but Coptic memory is the name of the book so but I think I give a link to maybe C Lemon, um, who's here on YouTube, um, and she's showing how to do a kettle stitch. I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, Coptic stitch. So I did a Coptic stitch because I do want it to be able to open flat, um, even though it has this rounded curve thing. Remember, I'm attaching it just to here, so it will still be able to open flat. And I like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is actually put, okay, so I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to use some elastic as a closure, and I think I am, I'm pretty sure I am, uh, but I don't know how the best way to attach this, so I'm thinking an eyelet is what I'm going to use, I bought a little recently bought a little eyelet uh, kit since I had the grommets from I don't know two books ago I thought well you have grommets how about eyelets so anyway I may try to see if I can get I don't know that I can get an eyelet to go through this though um, so I may have to do something a little different um, in terms of getting holes punch through this this board okay so I'm also going to be putting this down as in, in place of this paper and just so that this is not visible 
So I'm going to measure this out and cut it, glue it in to this and over to here. Even though this part's going to be covered up, I'm still wanting to, yeah. So that's going to happen. Some elastic or some rub something is going to happen in terms of being able to help it stay closed. And then I added this piece as the last piece on here. So I am going to be gluing that down. Like so. And I'm actually going to glue the back of this to this so that which kind of defeats the purpose of what I was trying to do originally, but that's where I am. That is what I did. So so just to be clear, originally my thought was to sew this on and I should have started with this signature because I was going to sew this on and then fold it back and use it as the piece that, you know, uh, gets glued to this part of the book. But in my... <laughs> Yeah, I just, I didn't. I started on this end and went this direction with the sewing. And so, yeah, that's where I am. So instead, I'm just going to glue these two together. Because I don't want this big water watercolor thing as my last sheet. So, that's what I'm doing. And then the other half of it is here. And I'm actually just going to use this as a piece of the paper in my art journal. It's already got some stuff on it. And I'll gesso over and do whatever. Which I guess I could potentially do here as well. So yeah, I'll think about that. But the goal is to get it glued in here. Yeah, so I'm going to play around a little bit and see what I'm thinking about doing, what I'm going to end up doing. And I'll be back and then I'm going to make some decisions about elastic. I'm going to cut this. And we're almost done. See you back in a moment. to really quickly share uh, why I put this on here is purely de decorative it has no other meaning no other value it's not necessary um, but I wanted it just for aesthetics just for because of the way it looks and it is a piece of calligraphy paper Japanese calligraphy paper um, that I used during I don't know which book uh, I can't remember right now but Jelly, I was doing jelly printing, jelly plate printing, and this was like the leftover paper from that. So that is purely decorative. This piece, remember, is going to get glued down. So purely decorative. Okay, be back. Okay, so it's time to do a little check-in because I'm not done yet, but it is 3.50. I'm just clearing my screen here. Uh, 3.50. Or 349, almost 350. Um, and I have my holes have been punched. Um, this was quite an interesting experience. So when I bought this eyelet setter, um, the lady asked me what kind of art I do. And I said that, or what kind of crafting I do. And I said, I'm a mixed media book artist. And she said, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. I said, well... I make handmade books, um, a variety of different things, but I use a lot, lots of different media. And she's like, oh, I'm so surprised you've never used an eyelet. And I was trying to explain to her that an eyelet setter and eyelets are not like standard book art tools. It's just not something that we use a lot. This is more scrapbookers, card makers. Um, yeah, so anyway... This was interesting to do. I had to go through a lot of board. This this board is very thick. So there was a lot of board to go through. And because of that, 
you know, these little eyelets only have a tiny amount of, I don't know what this is called, but the, the sort of leg on it is, is rather short. So the thickness of the book, this doesn't even come all the way through the other side. So I've been thinking off camera about how to remedy this because my goal is to have, you know, the eyelet hold in the elastic and wrap around to this side um, and do the same thing on the other side. But in order to set it in, I've, I'm going to have to dig out some of this board that's around it. So that is what I'm doing next. I'm just, because this isn't in, this was just sort of a placeholder. So the holes are done. But what I need to do is come in and I'm probably just going to take like my exacto knife and just peel back a portion of and I'm gonna have to do it very you know I'm just gonna cut away actually instead of my exacto I think I'm gonna use my box cutter just because it's a little bit I can grip it differently so the goal is to just take out some of these layers of board and just I'm just gonna dig it out really because I don't want to take out too much of it sorry about my phone back there someone's texting me probably okay so that's my goal that's what I'm gonna be doing next I'm probably just gonna do it off camera to dig this out and I okay we are in the home stretch I can feel it so this is done the grommets are the eyelets which are tiny grommets I think um, in my mind uh, are set and they feel pretty secure to me well let's hope that they are so my elastic band is on and the way it works is it just wraps around the cover but then it can also let's hope this does not pop when I try to do this it's rather tight, Kyla. Oh, that might be a problem. Let's see. But it's elastic. It's supposed to be tight. There we go. All right. So then it can also wrap that way and keep it keep the book closed. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, that is super duper tight. Wow. But it's it seems to be holding. Okay, so the next step is to adhere the book here. So this is where the book will sit. The book block will sit here. Oh, no, 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 no. Next step is to adhere this piece of paper to cover up all this madness of grommets and such. We'll see how that works. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to glue this down. Okay, 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 okay. So, lots of gluing. Done and done. That's glued on. Glue, glue, glue. So the next thing is to glue this on. And I feel like you guys have seen me glue things on enough that you probably don't want to watch this. But I'm just going to glue it down just like so. Double checking that this is, oh my gosh, I'm going to love it so very much. With the exception of the fact that my elastic is so ridiculously tight. But oh, how awesome is this going to be? Okay, so that's where I am. I'm gluing on, ah, gluing on this piece. Okay, so I'm going to leave this under these bricks um, because I have the glue is on that bottom page and I really want it to dry completely flat. I don't want it to warp the board. So I'm going to leave that on for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, so I'm ready to work on the cover. The book, book block, the text block itself is nice and secure. My, I'm telling you that this uh, elastic is so tight, it's got me a little bit nervous, but 
there won't be a lot of wear and tear on it. Um, I'll be the only one opening and closing and messing around with it. So, but this this is in and nice and secure. I hope it feels nice and secure. Um, and so the next and final thing for me to do for book 50 is to um, do something to my cover. So I'm doing techniques that you've seen me use time and time again. So I'm, not, I'm just going to speed through them. I'm just going to speed up the video. But I'm going to be using stencils, uh, punchinella, also called sequin waist. I have three different size circles here, which you know, if you've been watching the videos, you know that I love circles. It's, they're, they're my thing. Um, this is a weird little thing. It's a, uh, I got it from the dollar store. I just really wanted it for this pattern to spray through and use as like a stencil. Um, so then, yeah, I have some stencils, some punchinella. I think I'm going to do some... Uh, just some random sort of spraying just to get a background, some stencils. I think I'm going to use some modeling paste. So it's, it's going to be a variety of things. But I'll fast forward through it. I'll put some little blurbs at the bottom so you know exactly what I'm doing, what products I'm using. And then I'll see you back here to talk about book. creative people we are done with book 50 this is so crazy to me so it is 11 35 p.m. I did take several hours off uh, to do some stuff with the hubby and hang out and have dinner and all that jazz um, but the book is done and yeah I'm actually very very happy about this book um, I say that every week don't I I know Okay, so um, I used Stencil Girl stencils on the front. Love, you already know that I love Stencil Girl stencils. So anyway, I decided as I was doing this that um, this was going to be a journal for 2014 that I use for art and yoga. Um, this year, I really slacked off on my yoga practice. Um, well, my mat practice. Yoga is about more than just doing poses on a mat. Um, so a lot of the other limbs of yoga I have been practicing. Um, my art is one of them. You know, the idea of being focused on one thing and staying in that space. And anyway, I could go into the philosophy of all of that, but I won't. I'll just say that I haven't been doing my asana practice, which is the you know practice where you're on the mat doing the actual poses. Um, and going through the sequences there, I have not been doing it um, the way I had in the past. And so this year coming, 2014, I'm going to rededicate myself to my yoga practice. 
uh, my mat practice. Um, so this book is going to be that. So that was sort of what prompted me to put use this particular set of stencils um, on this particular book. Mind, Body, Spirit is what it says on the front. But the title of the book is actually Double Entry. And I named it that because this book used to be something else, right? And then now I have repurposed it to be my art journal. And to me, it's like a double entry. Two things have lived in this space of this of these covers, um, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, also, not stencil girl stencil, but a beautiful um, flower. So I use modeling paste and, um, you know, all the other stuff, Punchinella and ink sprays. And I use this Inca Gold metallic rub, which this was actually my first time using this, and I really like it. Um, more about that uh, on a, at another time. So the book is done. It's called Double Entry. It is a blank art journal. Um, double Entry. I also have the colophon here in the back. Um, and it's just, yeah, a bunch of blank pages waiting for me to fill them for 2014. Um, so yeah, that is my plan. I Two things I would change if I were going to do this book again, which trust me I will make another one of these it is so you know I like books that have that sturdy feeling this is a sturdy book no doubt about it I would give myself a little more space with the elastic um, this is really really tight it's only tight when it's wrapped around the back but when it comes to the front it's fine um, and this is the way it will live most of the time because this is you know closed um, but yeah I would definitely give myself more space there and what was the other thing I said I was gonna do I would do differently oh I think um, I would probably use a heavier um, modeling paste this one I don't know something about uh, well that's not true I guess I would probably keep it the way it is um, because I actually like it kind of subtle like this, uh, which is why I'm not, not outlining my girl, is because I like it to almost seem like she's floating in the background there. Um, so yeah, the book is done. I probably would put a different color elastic if I had a different color. I had cream and black, and I knew there would be something black, and I outlined my words in black, that would carry over. But the cream felt like it was going to stick out no matter what I did, so I went with this and I probably would choose a different color eyelet but you know I had to go with what I have that's the whole idea behind booking a day use what's at home don't go out and buy anything um, and this happens to be stuff that I have here so I went with that happy about recycling repurposing this artwork here these jelly plate prints um, I think fit beautifully here and on the edge and then I followed it up here behind the title so there'll be pictures of these of all of this book um, at the end here and then again on the blog so I'm excited to jump into this I'm gonna do some journaling in it I'm going to do um, obviously some visual vis visual documenting of my journey back to the mat um, yeah so I'll be talking a lot about that in 2014 as well so double entry is the name of this book um, and again, I guess double entry also goes for the fact that it's going to be yoga and art, yoga journaling, and then art in here as well. So double entry does double duty. <laughs> yes, I'm so funny, I know. Okay, so this is book 50. It was absolutely wonderful to make. Signing off for a book in a day, book 50. Please, please stay tuned for the next couple of books. And, um... Yeah, go out and create something beautiful this week.